Time to bring out our panel. Carol Roth is a best-selling author and business expert. Carol, let's start with you on housing. It's, a, it's abysmal. What do you make of it? Yeah, I think that any good news here, Jerry, gets balanced out by the bad news. It doesn't matter if there are low interest rates or depressed housing prices. If people can't get credit, if they don't have jobs, if they're underwater on their own mortgages currently, they're not going to be trading up. So I don't see any catalysts here for this getting better anytime soon because of all the bad news. Right. And with all the foreclosures, I, I just see this going on for months and possibly even years. Oh, my goodness. Now now, two Democratic lawmakers are what? Launching an investigation into the matter after claims the retail giant bribed Mexican officials for building permits to expand into the country. Carol, what do you say? You know, one of the insights here that I think people are missing is the amount of money that was used in the bribes. It's like $24 million. That's like a rounding error, error for Walmart. It's not a lot of money to them. Right. This is very shocking. There's bribery in Mexico, Jerry. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot believe this. And I think it, de it depends on what you call a bribe. You know, if you give a maitre d' at a restaurant a $20 bill and grease their palms, in Chicago, we call that the Chicago handshake. And I think that we have to realize in Mexico, this is the way that they tend to do business. So if the allegations do end up being true, Walmart's not going to be the only company that ends up uh, with one of these scandals. There are going to be a lot of other companies that are growing rapidly rapidly that you're going to find in the exact same position. So my take is that this is not a big deal for Walmart at all. And we'll probably be Except hearing this about some other company <laughs> in, you know, a couple months. Women paying more for their credit cards than men do. Right. Carol, jump in here because, I mean, I had such a problem with this whole thing because it just makes women look stupid. And I don't think they are. I think they're the ones taking on the debt for the entire family. So maybe the point of being late with payments, maybe the point of paying only the minimum is because you're paying all the other bills, too. I think that could very well be the case. I mean, there, there are some things that we get taken advantage of for dry cleaning and haircuts, but I do think that this is one place where we can step up. And if we can make the money and we can spend the money, then we need to spend, obviously, more time making sure that we're comparison shopping amongst rates and doing the things to pay down our credit card bills. I will say I do think that this study is probably skewed because more women tend to manage the finances in the household, so you're probably getting some of that, too. But as a woman, I say that the best Best thing, knowledge is power, and start taking control of your finances. Well, New Jersey will soon be requiring card sellers to obtain zip codes so it can claim gift cards that go unused after two years. Carol, what do you say? I say if you don't use your car for a couple of months, that also becomes community <laughs> property, Jerry. I mean, this, I actually and thought... your house, I know, and your I th dog, it all goes to the state. <laughs> I, right? couldn't, I couldn't even believe that this was a real story here. I mean, in, in my mind, this is akin to stealing. We just had legislation that said, you know, gift cards can't expire because that money is a liability, and now the states want some claim to it. It, it makes fundamentally no sense from the consumer standpoint and the business standpoint. I think everybody should be up in arms over this.